Hey, welcome to the shop. Today I have a fun little repair on this handmade coffee table that has a copper frame. Now, one of the pieces had fallen off and it was overall just a little bit wobbly. So we're gonna use some TIG brazing to firm everything up and put that piece back into place. You know, I have done quite a few little repairs here in my workshop, but I rarely make videos about them. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more videos like this. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to prepare a place here where I can flip this table over and get a good look at what's actually going on underneath. Now, as I'm putting it in place, I'm noticing a few things that are pretty important for this repair. The first is when they tried to put it together originally, they used some screws and then cut the head off of it and tried to secure everything with some plumbing solder or something like that. Clearly didn't do the job. I'm also noticing the way it's put together. I don't want to take it apart because I'm afraid I won't get it back together just right if I do. So I'm going to do this repair intact. The first thing I'm doing is just removing these screws and cleaning everything up so that I won't have that solder in place and I'll be able to get a nice clean joint uh, in between when I go to braze this together. Now when I put the cross member in place, it fits okay but things have pulled apart a little bit so I need to center it up and then I'm going to use some ratchet strap tie downs to hold everything in place and square them up. These are actually a really useful tool to have around in the workshop. Now my plan is to use the TIG welder to braze these coped joints using silicon bronze filler. Silicon bronze is super useful for all sorts of things. If you've got a TIG welder, it's worth having a few sticks around. This is a clip from a past project where I was brazing some steel lap joints with silicon bronze. You can braze steel, you can braze copper, stainless steel, you can braze them to one another, and you actually run a very similar technique. You can see I'm pushing this puddle of filler metal along, just heating that base metal and flowing the material on top. In this example, you can see I am getting a little bit of melting up at the top corner. Ideally, you'll keep everything down below and have that straight line on the top plate like you see here. Adequate gas shielding is really important with TIG brazing, so I'm using a gas lens as well as a number 12 cup to make sure that I spread argon all around. I'm going to take a look at these joints. Some fit pretty well and others have a bit of a gap that I'm going to be dealing with and that has an effect on your overall quality. The first thing I'm going to do is just put a couple tacks in place on one side and that should be able to hold it pretty well. Then I'll go to the other side and get two more tacks before moving to the other end of the table and tacking in the same way. These tacks should hold everything in place so I can get these straps out of the way before it gets too hot because this copper is really conductive. So I'm working my way around these coped joints and you can see just heating it up and flowing that filler metal along and working all the way around and it's going in pretty well. I'm going to do this all the way around on the bottom side and then flip the table over and cover the top side on each of these. With the cross member brazed in place, it was still quite wobbly, so I'm going to go ahead and braze around each of the legs here just to firm everything up. I'm brazing about one inch and then waiting for it to cool before continuing. With this process, it took quite a while to make it all the way around each of the joints. And when I was finished, I did have some discoloration, which is pretty unavoidable. I'm just using some commercial copper polish to clean things up and get rid of some of those tarnished areas and leave it looking pretty similar to how it was when I began. It took a bit of elbow grease, but it worked pretty well. Well, if you enjoyed this video or learned something, let me know by hitting that thumbs up below. And if you are just getting started with welding and you'd like some guidance to know exactly what to do and how to go about things, or you just want to learn faster, check out the affordable online courses that I have linked in the description below. I put these together to really be a guide and help step-by-step -step through the whole learning process to be able to learn faster and help anybody to be able to build what they'd like to. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time.